idea why. Maybe I caught a cold yesterday, but I do not feel good today. So I'm gonna sub out my coffee for some matcha today. This is the matcha powder that I am using right now. I actually got this off of Amazon, so I'll link this in the description box below but it's actually really, really good. Better than some of the ones I've been able to find like in Vancouver at um, the like, Japanese markets. Maybe it's just because I don't know how to pick matchas, but this one, for example, this did not taste good as a latte. Maybe it's not meant to be used as a latte sort of tea, but it was almost artificial sort of cardboardy taste, whereas this matcha has been tasting really good. I'm gonna do like two and a half scoops of matcha. I'm gonna steam some milkadamia milk. What a lovely color matcha is. And then just like a tiny bit of honey. So good. I haven't been taking great care of my little click and grow garden, so we're gonna change that today. A lot of it has like just been overgrown and unhappy. You gotta do something about it. In these two empty cups, I'm actually going to grow some cilantro. I was actually supposed to go to my very first dodgeball league game today, and I'm so sad that I'm missing it. And I feel really bad because, ooh, feeling congested. I had only let my friend James know yesterday because that's when I started feeling kind of sicky. And I hate canceling on things last minute, especially when it's like a team thing like this because obviously we're already meant to be playing. They're gonna now be one person down and then we're kind of in a rush to find subs. But I definitely don't think I have it in me to run around today. My whole respiratory system feels kind of icky today. Like I'm having a little bit of like wheezing and like just throat ache and overall, not a good time, so it's gonna be a very, very chill day for me today. All right, I'm thinking of taking Miki Bear. She's literally staring at me from behind the camera right now. But I'm thinking about taking Miki Bear out to the park since it is nice outside. I'm actually feeling quite a bit better. I ordered some pho and then I actually took a nap and then I did, redid my nails because my nails were getting too long with that other set. And I find that the medium round um, Apri ones, shaved down just a tad, are actually like a pretty good length for me. Like they're a very functional length. So this is the set that I'm gonna be having, or like keeping on for a while. I keep saying that and then I keep redoing my nails like every week, but I'm gonna try to make these last for two weeks and we're gonna see how that goes. there are so many areas in my house that like weren't thoughtfully thought out as in I did not put much thought into how I organize the space so I'm kind of stuck with a bunch of I guess like storage areas that aren't super useful in the sense that they just aren't organized in a really functional way so I'm gonna spend some time today just fixing that <laughs> I definitely feel like I am on one today. Maybe it's all that pent up energy, but I am like 
very scatterbrained. And I feel like I've still been able to be productive, which is good, but I don't love being scatterbrained because it makes me a little bit anxious because I'm like, okay, I'm doing a lot. I am doing a lot, but like, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing though? I don't have any deadlines that are due immediately, so I think me spending time cleaning is not the worst thing to do today. Every once in a while, I will just be in a mood to deep clean and reset the house, and today was definitely one of those days. I did also order some groceries from Instacart, which is supposed to come just around dinner time, which is actually fine because I do have some leftover groceries that I wanna use to make dinner tonight. I'm gonna do a pasta, but it's gonna be a roasted peppers pasta, which I think is gonna be really lovely. Oh, are you okay, sir? Other than dinner, I think really it's just editing and chilling today. My BF nails are finally starting to lift, so I think for the latter half of my evening i'm probably going to do biab on myself while catching up on the last of us i am behind so i think tonight's gonna be the perfect little self-care night plus i'm gonna show you guys how i do biab on myself i went to have dinner at my boyfriend's parents house yesterday and my boyfriend's mom gave me some mochis because we were sort of sharing on our love for mochis and this is one of them. This one's actually from Taiwan. I can't get them anywhere. I've already eaten like the four that she gave me, but she also gave me these ones, which were from San Francisco. I also don't know the brand, but they say like San Francisco strawberry mochis or something like that on the front. And they come individually wrapped. Like how cute is that? So I'm going to eat a little mochi and then we're gonna start cooking dinner. so good for dinner i am taking a recipe out of this classic of a classic cookbook this is the essentials of classic italian cooking by marcella hazan which is like the mother of american italian cooking she pretty much took traditional italian recipes and sort of made it so that americans can cook them so she'll use sort of american I guess like terminology and produce options rather than stuff that you can find in Italy but we are going to make this a roasted red and yellow pepper sauce with garlic and basil mainly because I have peppers in my fridge that I need to use up. One of them is already cut up because my mom used it for a dish. This recipe actually asks for you to peel your pepper, which I have never done before, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, it's not as hard as I thought it would be. Also, this is like 10 out of 10, the best peeler I have ever used. It's just this one from Amazon, I think, but it is so good. I'm gonna see if I can find it and link it down below. The peeling bit actually has this, I don't know if you can see it, but it has little teeth, which makes peeling so much easier. So if you're looking for a good peeler, I've got you, I've got you covered. I honestly really love the smell and taste of peppers. Oh my god, I'm injured! Ow. I can't even use this hand, I wanted to grate some more cheese. Okay, after a short little intermission where I had to run to my car to get a band-aid, here is my pasta. And of course, I have to top it off with some pepperoncini. I am obsessed 
obsessed with pepperoncini. It's really just spicy Italian chilies in olive oil and it gives such a kick to whatever you're eating it with. But this on top of pasta or pizza is so A1. Like I can't even describe to you how necessary of an ad this is. But you have to make sure you like spicy food if you're gonna try this because... <gasps> Nice. It's really spicy, is what I was gonna say, but it's actually mostly contained in that. A bit of a disaster cooking today, but we're we're good. Threw my hoodie straight into the wash so that hopefully it doesn't stain, but here's my little pasta. Honestly, super easy. And we're gonna do a taste test together with the pepperoncini. By the way, if anybody was wondering or curious, I had to stop my Italian lessons because my tutor and I stopped having like times that worked for both of us. I have taken a pause on my Italian lessons. I also just found that taking them once a week really wasn't enough. Like it was good enough to sort of keep the knowledge going, but I think I am going to try to get back onto some of the apps that I have like Rosetta Stone that I got gifted one year, like a full subscription for Christmas. And I also have language transfer which is a really great one so i think i'm gonna start doing that again just so i can refresh my brain on my italian anywho here is my pasta it's delicious i love it it's so light and i think i would have even done like chopped garlic i'm not taking it out of the oil after i brown the garlic but i love the flavor of the peppers i think it tastes so good the parmigiano gives it saltiness and then of course my lovely pepperoncinis give it that awesome kick that i love it's perfect mm -mm, so good i'm just gonna watch some vlogs for a little bit and then we can move on to doing my b set after break rest and play and work staying at a space like this might be a lot more beneficial than one fancy hotel room so Finally is me doing somewhat of an explainer on how I do my nails at home. I'm setting out a towel so that it'll catch all of the shavings from me removing my nails. So we're just gonna start by removing my nails that I have on right now. Um, it is a Biab set or builder in a bottle set and I think I'm just gonna do builder in a bottle again my nails are quite short right now but i need them like that for dodgeball at least until i get the hang of it and then maybe i'll try to do dodgeball with longer nails but i need to be at the top of my game so i have a really short set on right now and the reason i'm removing it is mainly because this nail started to lift the other ones actually seem fine but anyways my nails are quite soft from doing gel x for quite a while and sort of like testing on my own nails and damaging them a little bit so i'm gonna remove it and then i'm gonna just gonna do a thicker layer of biab also so that i can make sure this next set is super strong so that is step one and i'm really just going to go in with my e-file to remove my nails i am going to use my cuticle nipper pull off the little gem obviously not like force ripping it off or anything like that but really just going slow and like trying to get underneath it but you obviously don't want to start filing until you have your gems off because you don't want it to be flying off and injuring you so here's the set
The Last of Us. My god. What an incredibly depressing show. I mean, I get it. It's the apocalypse. There are zombies. The world is not as we know it, but I just finished watching episode five and I'm feeling, I'm feeling some type of way. I'm not feeling happy. <laughs> Oh man, a friend of mine was telling me that it just gets sadder from here, so I don't know how I'm gonna survive the rest of these episodes. On a brighter note, I did end up finishing my little Biab set. My memory card actually filled up halfway as I was doing this hand, but you guys got the gist. I think I mentioned this in one of my last videos about how I'm not going to do like a dedicated how-to video because there are just so many nail content creators out there that do it so amazingly that I do not need to add to that. But I am happy to recommend products and sort of give a list of the things that I personally use to achieve a little Biab manicure at home. And if you're wondering what Biab is, Biab is short for builder in a bottle and it's essentially builder gel but in a bottle form. So builder gel is typically what people will use to do like extensions and like longer nails but you can totally just coat it over your natural length as well and it just gives your nails strength so that it actually promotes natural nail growth. I've been seeing tons of people who have been doing Biab to grow their natural nails and I think that it is a good idea if you do find it quite difficult to grow out your natural nails but yeah that is my set. I'll put the name of the color that I used in the description box below but if you guys have any other questions about anything that I used feel free to let me know because I can definitely list those out for you. All right I think it is officially bedtime for me. I'm gonna do a little bit of reading because I have not been getting very far with my reading lately, mainly because I just haven't been giving it the time, but I have been really looking forward to reading more of this book, so I'm gonna do a little bit of that before bed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!